I really miss making videos, but I've just got too much work these days, so I'm gonna try and combine them. First up, coffee. it was such a great idea to get hot coffee on a day like this. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> I'm a little worried this, this GoPro is going to fall in the water and I don't have a floaty on it. So first up about the new company. Um, we've got a new company called Infracost. What Infracost does is basically shows engineers how their code changes are going to affect their cloud costs, right? It's it's crazy, but engineers currently, DevOps, SREs, platform engineers, buy infrastructure without ever seeing how much it costs until the bill arrives. It's like going into a supermarket and having no prices anywhere and getting told basically your car is gonna get charged after the fact. As these updates, I'm thinking I make one video a month. Currently, Ali writes an update blog and basically summarizes what we've done in the last month and what we've shipped. I'm thinking we do that on video form as well. Um, that way I get my creative fix of making a video and I'm still working. Kind of. Oh, back in the van. It's way too hot out there. Okay, so first update of June. I think we've made one of the biggest changes we've had to made to Infracost so far. Um, so back in February, we started a new way of parsing, um, kind of, or doing the cost estimation, right? The used to do it, the way we used to do it was we used to take a Terraform plan using the Terraform CLI, converting into plan, and then using that as a basis for the cost estimation. What we've changed since February, we've been working on this, is that we now look at HCL code and parse HCL code to get the cost estimation. So number one, because we don't have to run Terraform in it and plan anymore, it makes it super fast. Two, because we no longer need the Terraform CLI, you don't need any cloud credentials. That's the only reason that you had needed cloud credentials until now. And three, you can get cost estimates for Terraform modules now, right? You, HCL parsing enables us to do that. Because we're doing HCL parsing, it actually enables us to do Visual Studio plugins and um, some other really cool stuff which we're working on. We'll have, check out the open source. Hugo's working on it. Look through, jump in and help if you can. All right, cheers. <laughs>